Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to import our study area shape file into Google Earth Engine and to clip and download the Sentinel 2A imagery based on our uploaded shape file. So let's get started. So first up, let us upload our study area shape file into Google Earth Engine. So for that, go to the assets section in Google Earth Engine. So click this option called assets. So in that, we're going to click this option called new, the down arrow. So in that you can able to see there are several options being available. We can upload the image uploads and the table uploads includes the shape file and CSV file. So now we're going to import uh, upload our shape file into our Google Earth engine. So with that we're going to click this option called shape files. So now a new window has been popped up saying upload a new shape file asset. So now we're going to select our shape file from my folder. So click this option called select. So navigate to your safe shapefile location of your study area. So now I have navigated to my sh study area shapefile. So now you can able to visualize it now. So you can please drag and drop all the select files for this. So allowed extension will be shapefile, zip, dbf, prj, shx and cpj and fix and uh, qix and sbn or uh, shp. So now we're going to select those particular extensions. So now CPG. So CPG is currently available. So now let me hold the control in my keyboard and let me select those file. The file with the extension CPG. And next we're going to select. So here there is an uh, extension called DBF. So we're going to select DBF. And next we're going to select PRJ. So PRJ is available here. And SBN is available. Let us check down. So yes, SBN is available. So click this and next we're going to select SBX. So XBS, uh, SBX file extension is not available. So here, so now we're going to leave that. So next we're going to select the SHP shape file and we're going to select this. And last we're going to select SHX extension. So click this. So now click this option to open. So now we can able to visualize our uh, file extension for our study area shape files getting uploaded. So we're going to upload the, it now. So it has an asset ID and you can also choose your asset name. So now let me select my asset name as study area. So now I have selected, I have uh, selected my study area. That is my asset name as the study area LS I have typed as an study area LS. So next we're going to click this option called upload to upload our study area shape file into Google Earth engine. So click this option. So now in the task section of our earth engine, click this. So here you can able to visualize our unsubmitted task. So it is currently is going to get upload our study area shape file into our earth engine asset. So now you can able to visualize it is starting to upload our study area shape file into our earth engine assets. So it will take around uh, two to five minutes to upload our study area shape file into our earth engine. So now we can able to visualize our study area shape file has been uploaded which uh, took less than one minute to upload our study area shape file into our earth engine. So now let us visualize go to the asset section of earth engine. So now you can click this option to refresh. So now click this option. So now we can able to visualize our study area as study area has been uploaded. So now let me show you the my study area in my RGIS software. So this is our RGIS software, so art map. So we're going to add our study area shape file and let me show you that. So this is our study area shape file. Let me click this and add. So this is how our study area shape file will look. So now let me get back to our earth engine. So now we can able to visualize our study area shape file has been uploaded to our Google earth engine asset. So now let me uh, insert this shape file into our earth engine. So let me click this option called import into script. So now I have imported our study area shape file into our script. So now, uh, so now we're going to load our Sentinel 2A image into our earth engine and we're going to clip using our study area shape file and download our Sentinel 2A imagery. So for that, let me uh, import some code into our earth engine. So now we can able to visualize I have uh, created a, a code called we're going to load our Sentinel 2A image into Earth Engine 
and we're going to clip using our study area shape file so here i defined as a variable called table so uh, let me rename as a uh, variable called roi so now you can able to visualize i have renamed as a variable called roi so here the roi represents our region of interest so now we're gonna use our study area shape file to clip to clip our sentinel 2a image based on our study area boundary so for that first we're gonna need to load our sentinel 2a image for that we define the variable called image equals to double dot image collection copernicus s2 sr that is surface reflectance and we can specify with a specific timeline for that we're going to define dot filter date 2020 january 1 2020 december 30. so next to uh, get an image with the least cloud contaminated image for that we define dot filter double dot filter dot lt cloud pixel percentage of lesser than 10 and next we're going to define a uh, filter bound roi so now we're going to use our study area shape file that is roi which represents our study area shape file that is our region of interest and next we're going to define uh, in order to view the details of this image we define print image so image referred to our sentinel 2a image so next we have to set a visualization parameter for sentinel 2a image for that we define a variable with params true bands b4 b3 and b2 which is a true color composite with a minimum of 0 and to a maximum of 2500 and we set a gamma value of around 1.1 so we're gonna add our layer for that map dot add layer so image it refers to a sentinel 2 a image and visual this params true refers to our visualization parameter true color composite and output the layer name as sentinel 2 a image so next we have to add another layer called map dot add layer image dot clip so we're gonna use our study area shape file to clip our sentinel 2 a image based on our study area shape file and uh, we're gonna add that layer so for that we defined image dot clip or i that is our region of interest referring to our study area shape file and next we defined uh, the visualization parameter for that image this parents true refers to over this particular variable which is true color composite and output the lane as study area and uh, to center the uh, layer we define map dot center object region of interest refers to study area with the zoom level of 10 so now to download this image we define export dot to drive and here we define export dot image to drive and image here refers to image dot in 16 function and description will be our sentinel to eight uh, chennai with a spatial resolution of 10 meters and here the region refers to our roi and we have the maximum pixel value around 1 is to 10 power 30. so now let us run this code and click this option called run script so now let us visualize the result here So here we have uh, two different layer, one layer which represents our sentinel 2 image and the second layer which represents our based on we are use clipping of us the sentinel 2 image based on our study area shape file. So let me turn this off. So now we can able to visualize based on our study area we have clipped our sentinel 2 image. So now let me show you an RGIS software. So this is our study area we have imported in our Google Earth engine. So now let me show you that. So this is the result based on our study area clip. We have our final result of a Sentinel 2A image. We clipped using our study area, which is in, in a true color composite. So next step, we're going to download this particular image using uh, go to the task section of our Earth engine. So this is our task section of our Earth engine. So now we can able to visualize there is an unsubmitted task called Sentinel 2A Chennai. So click this uh, option called run to uh, run this export to our Google Drive. So now a new uh, window has been popped up saying initiate an image export. So task name is internal to HNI, spatial resolution of 10. So we're going to export to our Google Drive in GeoTIFF format. So click this option called run to export our Sentinel to a image. So it is getting run. We have uh, pressed the option called run. So now we can able to visualize the uh, submitted task. We have our central 2A image of Chennai. So it is currently loading. So now we can able to visualize in our task section. Our central 2A image has been exported to our, to our Google Drive. 
it took around 9 minutes to upload our sentinel image to our google drive so now let us open in our google drive so click this option so click, click this option called uh, open in drive so this is our drive so now we're gonna download our sentinel 2a of chennai so right click and uh, let me right click and you can able to visualize an option called download so click this option so now you can able to visualize our Chennai Sentinel 2A image has a total size of around 549.9 MB so click this option to download now select your folder location to download our Sentinel 2A image Chennai so now click save So now let me uh, add some changes to the file name. So now click save. So now you can able to visualize it is currently downloading our Sentinel 2A Chennai. So now you can able to visualize our Sentinel 2A has been downloaded. So now let us uh, open in our ArcGIS software. So now let us visualize our Sentinel 2A image in RGI software. So let me go to the RGI software. So now let me add our Sentinel 2A image into RGIS. So we're gonna select this data. So click add. So now suppose we are visualizing in black color. So like this. So in that case, go to the layer section and click right click layer and go to the properties. So in that we're gonna select the stretch type as a standard deviation and uh, yes do you want to compute statistics yes so now uh, next we're gonna click ok so currently is computing statistics so we're gonna wait for some time so now click ok so now you can able to visualize our sentinel 2a image so now we're gonna select our bands so here we're gonna select band 4 and band 3 and band 2 which is a true color composite so now we can able to visualize our uh, true color composite of Sentinel 2A image. Suppose we're going to change it to different bands. So let me select band 6. So in that case, we are uh, going to face in a, like a black uh, image. In that case, go to the right click the layer, go to the property section. So again, we have to compute our statistics. So it's going to load. So now we can able to visualize our so in the stretch type we're gonna select as a standard deviation and click OK. So now we can able to visualize our Sentinel 2A image. So each time we're gonna change the band, you have to uh, render the so go to the property section, you have to uh, compute the statistics and you have to select the stretch type as a standard deviation. Now let me show you my study area boundary. So click this option. So now we can able to visualize our study area. So in that we're gonna select as a shallow that is halo and uh, let me increase the outline width and click ok so now you can able to visualize our study area at last let me clip uh, using our uh, study area boundary in uh, rgis go to the search section and click this option called uh, search an option called clip so begin a search by a clip tool so click this option so now let us visualize it so we have to select so we have to select this tool called a clip data management tool so now let us input our raster that is our sentinel 2a image now let me select my output extent so again i select my study area that is the export output so so now i'm going to use this option called use input feature for clip a clipping geometry and maintain the clipping extent and choose your output file location so now i've selected my output file location so now make sure that you clear enter dot tif if so now click ok to run this tool so now we can able to visualize our clip study area has been generated from our sentinel to image you can able to visualize it more clearly now so now let me select our uh, true color composite so you're going to select this band i'm going to select band 4 and band 3 and band 2 so it is a true color composite so now you can able to clearly view the features in this uh, it is a 10 meter resolution sentinel to a image so now uh, So now let me get back to our earth engine. So uh, in this video I have shown you how to uh, import our study area shapefile into google earth engine. 
and clip using our study area shape file for sentinel 2a image and uh, how to uh, show you how to uh, download an image of sentinel 2a image at last we have uh, visualized our sentinel 2a in our rgis software so now let me show you that so this is our sentinel 2a image we have downloaded from our google earth engine so thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel and give us a like